Let's pray. Lord, how we love you, we thank you. <clears throat> Master, how we love you, we thank you. Lord, we love you and we thank you because you first loved us. Yeah. And for that, we are grateful. Lord, you show your love for us over 2,000 years ago. And Lord, you continue to show us your love through your grace and your mercy. And for that, we're grateful. Yes, Lord. Master, we pray right now that you would open our hearts and our minds yeah. to receive what you have for us today. Remove me. Let the people see you and hear you. Yes. For I, for we, need to hear a word from you. Sure, yeah. Lord, it's our prayer that you let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in your sight. For Lord, you are my strength and you are my redeemer. Thanks, God. So, amen. Amen. that we have uh, technical difficulties this morning, but, uh, but we'll be okay. I, I was raised in a church we never had overhead in my church. I think we'll be all right. What y'all think? Amen. 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 So, uh, in your Bibles, in the book of Romans, chapter 7, I'm going to read a, a long pericope of thought so you can keep your seat. You can keep your seat today. Uh, I'm going to read quite a few verses, but I want you to read along with me. Romans chapter 7, and I'm going to begin at, at verse 7. Romans chapter 7. Would you find us? Amen. Amen. Take you some good notes. There'll be an opportunity for you to, to get back in class and take your own notes. Uh, um, if you have a book or your, or your, your program, you can write your notes in there. I'm reading from the New King James Version and it says these words. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Certainly not. On the contrary, I would not have known sin except through the law. For I would not have known covetousness unless the law had said, you shall not covet. But sin, taking opportunity by the commandment, producing me all manner of evil desire. For apart from the law, sin was dead. I was alive once without the law, but when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died. And the commandment, which was to bring life, I found to bring death. For sin, taking occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it killed me. Therefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. Verse 13. Has then what is good become death to me? Certainly not. But sin, that it might appear sin, was producing death in me through what is good, so that sin through the commandment might be exceedingly sinful. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I, we, I am carnal, soul under sin. For what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do, that I do not practice. But what I hate, that I do. If then I do what I will not to do, I agree with the law that it is good. But now, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells. For to, for to will is present with me, but how to perform what is good, I do not find. For the good that I will to do, I do not do. But the evil that I will not to do, that I practice. Now, if I do what I will not to do, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. 21. I find in a law that evil is present with me, the one who wills to do good. For I delight in the law of God according to the inward man, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. 
oh wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? I thank God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, so then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Amen. Mm. I want to talk to you about the struggle is real. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We can just stop right there. The struggle is real. It is real. You know, um, uh, it seems that Jerry, that, that 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 Paul in this letter seems to be giving a testimony or or a statement about his life, a struggle that he's having, and he's having it as a Christian. Yes, right. he's having this struggle as a believer. Mm -hmm. He's you know, he's having this struggle as someone who says it's saved, they're sanctified, <coughs> he speaks in tongues. But yet he still has this struggle going on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, 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 and the struggle is, is, is real. Yes, it is. I don't know why it is that that's still, you know, it's always dangerous to be really too transparent in here, but, but it is what it is, you know. You know. I don't know why it is that, that I can find myself in a, in a situation and just standing there and and, and someone looks at me sideways. <laughs> and then there's something on the inside that begins to have a conversation with myself. Uh, yeah. All right, all right. That I wish he would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what else has a conversation. You know, I don't know what she's looking at or what he's looking at, you know, but, uh, why they, but, but I wish they would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just, 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 just say something. I mean, I mean, just look at me one more time. We're gonna, we're gonna get this thing straightened out. And I will role play this in my mind. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, you, you know, I mean, from beginning, from end to end, you know, you're gonna walk up on me. I'm gonna lay you out, and I'm not gonna come off the gas until. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Not you, right? Not you. Not, uh, it, 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 you know, you know. And, 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 and listen, and it's, it's, it's as if Paul is giving us uh, 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 some truth about himself and being transparent. Saying, you know, there's something going on here. I know I'm saved, I'm sanctified, and I'm on my way to heaven, but I got this little struggle in my life. So, 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 so. Let me tell you. As a pastor, I've counseled many people and, and and seeing them suffer from severe emotional and spiritual damages because they try to live a, a holy life based on a standard. And I've seen the consequences of their attempts. Either the person becomes a pretender, right. or, or they begin to suffer and, and collapse and just totally fall out of the faith. Mm -hmm. like a, uh, or then the, the other thing is that they'll become very legalistic, hard on on other people, very critical, because you know they they, they, they think that they've arrived and, and they have they they overcome their 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 one issue. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. And so now it's time for me to go out and tell you about yeah. your your issue. Yeah. Listen, listen. But, I, but I've learned that the struggle is real. And, and the first thing that, that we must address, and I'm going to push this fast. The first thing we must address is the big elephant in the room. Yeah, this, this, this is the one that, 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 that won't fill up the church. But, but the big elephant in the room is, we got to call it what it is, is sin. Yes, right. Yes. Far too often we want to we want we want to turn our heads and act like like it, it, it's not there. But what it is is sin. Yes, it is. I know I know that today we call it you know in the relationship trying before you buy. Mm -hmm. I'm 
trying to help so if you don't help call, you know, you get it. And, and we gotta be transparent. So everybody take your halo off and put it in your seat beside you. Let, you know, you take it off right now. But but, but we gotta call it what it is. It's called sin, you know, it, we, 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 we call it, you know, you know, uh, uh, we call it, you know, uh, you know uh, padding our resume. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we call it on our taxes extra deductions. <laughs> <laughs> if you gave that much to the church, <laughs> come on now, talk back to me. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. But, 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 but we got to call it what it is, it's it's sin. It, 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 it's, it's sin. It's sin. It's sin. You know, uh, it, it's not stretching the truth. It's lying. Yes. Yeah. Just, 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 just call it what it is. And, and, and what, what, what the church has to stop doing, we must stop sugarcoating sin. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now listen, listen. I am. I'm not condemning anybody, but but because because I don't care. You got yours. I got mine. For the Bible says, for we have all. Yeah. Sin and fall short of the glory of God. So, 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 but the reality of it is, I can't play with it any longer. We got to call it what it is. Yeah. It's sin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, know, you got, you got to tell your children it's sin. Yeah. Yeah. Now you may choose to do it, but we're gonna call it what it is. Yes. Yes. Sin, sin, sin. And 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 and, and what, what really, what really blows my mind for me, for for us is. Like when we would choose sin that leads to death over living right, which leads to life. Right, right. Paul says in Romans 6 23, for well, the wages of sin yeah. is death. Yeah. But the gift of God is eternal life. Right. You know, so, 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 so whenever I choose to sin, the reality of it, I choose to suffer. Although the pleasure of sin may be there temporarily, it is fleeing. Yes. Yes, Lord. I mean, you, you, you got to be on this dusty march of life for a while that you understand that, you know, that you at, at some point, it just ain't worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so so it, 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 it's sin. Now listen to what Paul says. I'm just going to just give you an overview of everything he was saying. Paul seems to, to say that that when he found out about the law, the law was the Mosaic law. Uh, that's, considering the first five books of the Bible, the, the word of God, Mosaic law. He says that when he started reading and, and found out about the word of God, it seemed like it cost him a sin. I mean, the, 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 the picture is made like, like, you know, the more I knew about the law, the more it ignited me to sin. Mm -hmm. He says, because, because the reality of it is, because before I knew what thou shalt not covet, I had no problem with it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I found that I couldn't do it, <laughs> I had a struggle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I somebody, I, 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 when I really got into the word, you know, it seemed like, you know, that's when I started really yeah, yeah. struggling. Yeah. And so, 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 listen, so, 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 but what he's really telling us is that, that the word of God is not the cure for your disease, it's not the creator of your disease. But it is the revealer. All right. That's right. And what happens is, as I begin to get into the word of God, it begins to reveal who I really am. Yeah. And as it reveals who I really am, I start seeing sin in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Like sin I didn't see before, I start seeing that. Yeah. Yo, you know, I, I thought everything was fine until I went and got a Physical. <laughs> you know, I just thought that's the way it's supposed to be. But but as I start studying the word and looking at the word, it starts revealing sin to me in my life. Now, now listen. Holy living is an expectation. God expects for you, for me, to live holy. It, 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 it's got to be just part of what we do. 
Yes. Yeah, listen, listen. I cannot graduate to the point where I feel comfortable living any kind of way and calling myself a Christian. Mm. Yeah. Everybody take a deep breath right there. Just because you're saved and on your way to heaven, just because I'm saved and on my way to heaven, and I understand that grace and mercy covers me, does not give me the right to live any kind of way. That's right. Amen. Right. Because the reality of it is that God has a holy expectation for me. Right. You know what? The reality of it is I am God's business card. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just this, I'm saying I've been born again. Yeah. If you want to know what it looks like, Paul says, follow me as I follow Right. right. So, 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 there ought to be some change in my life that you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 there ought to be some holy living as an expectation. Now, now, I'm gonna share with you real quick why the struggle is real. All right. Why the struggle is. First thing I, I see in the text is why the struggle is, is real is because I am saved. Because I'm saved. Listen, the reason. Why you? The reason why I struggle is because I am saved. Listen, I am not comfortable sinning if I'm saved. Because the Holy Spirit has come and, 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 and taken up residency in my life. Therefore, there are some things that I just become uncomfortable with. Yeah. Right, right. Even when I find myself doing them, I'm struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So, yeah. so, 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 because I'm saved, there's going to be a struggle there. Yeah. Now listen, listen. And the key is, uh, whatever you do, uh -huh. don't stop struggling. All right. Yeah. It's when we give in to it. Don't stop struggling. Yo, okay, listen, listen. So, 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 because I'm saved, there's going to be a struggle there. Listen. That's one. The struggle is real, too. The real struggle is within me. It's, it's within me. Now, I'm going to unpack this thing and show you this real quick. Verse 7 of uh, Romans chapter 7 says, What shall we say then? Is is the law sin? Certainly not. On the contrary, I would not have known sin except through the law, for I would not have known covetousness unless the law said, you shall not covet. The covet, covetousness is an intense desire to possess something or someone that belongs to another person. All right. Yeah, you, you want it so bad, is it, is it, that's what you're coveting. Yeah. Now listen. Now Paul does something here that's pretty unique and will catch you off guard. He goes back to the law and refers to the Mosaic law. He talks about the Ten Commandments. Yeah, yeah. Now, Paul could have said anything. He could have said, you know, had I not known murder, I would have not struggled with murder. Yeah, yeah. He said, he could have said, had I not known about bearing false witness, I would have struggled with lying. Mm -hmm. But he says, he goes to and he goes down to the Ten Commandments and he goes to the last commandment. All right. Thou shalt not covet. Let's see. Thou shalt not covet is the only, the only commandment that deals with the inner man. All right. All the rest of them can be displayed outwards. All right. And he says, so the struggle really is not the outside. Mm -hmm. The struggle is what's going on. On the, yes, on the inside. So I'm really struggling with sin because of something on the inside. inside of me. Oh, this, 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 this gets really deep because, because you know, for so long, mm. for so long, uh, listen, Charlie, I want to blame it on the outside world. Well, Lord, it's this world we live in. Man, you see everything that they have going on. But I really wouldn't be enticed by it if it wasn't something on the inside drawing me 
So, 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 so he said, he said, he says, he says that 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 the law reveals to me there's something wrong on the inside. Yeah. 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 Because listen, the world is gonna be the world. Certainly not, but sin, 
that it might appear sin, was producing death in me through what is good. So the, that sin through the commandment might become exceedingly sinful. Exceedingly sinful. See, he doesn't, he, he doesn't just say sin, he says exceedingly yeah, yeah. sinful. So what happens is, as, as God reveals through his word, he reveals to his word, my sin, my sin becomes to bother me even more. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, 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 Jerry, it becomes harder and harder to go past it as I grow in Christ. Yeah, right. that's right. You know, you know when, when, when I wasn't serious about my relationship with Jesus Christ, what happens is I can just turn my head to it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Moving. <clears throat> And start using language like, that's just who I am. God made me this way. He knows my struggle. Right. You know, but what happens is, as I become stronger in the word, he reveals it through his word, it becomes exceedingly, and those things that I used to do, even if I do them, I struggle and it causes me pain. Yeah, yeah. Let me, tell, let me tell you how it works. Man, you know, I was uh, uh, raised on the west side of San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> Y'all know this right now. <laughs> and one day, it, listen, and you know, we would play outside all day, and, and, and mom and daddy had this one rule, if you come in the house, you gotta stay in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be coming in and out the house letting my good air out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, cold air out the house, you know. Keep the door shut, you know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, 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 so what happens is, so, but we get thirsty, and we, we go to the garden with the water holes, turn it on, and drink out the, y'all remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for me from Louisiana, uh, the hose pipe. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, you sit there and, 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 and you drink the water out of it. You know, it, I mean, you know, it, you know, it, you know. But now, I can't imagine drinking out of it. No. Because we know all the things that could have crawled up in that thing, like, you know, you let my wife tell that story. Mm. <laughs> See, what happens is those things that I thought were okay at one time, yeah. now they disgust me. Yeah. Because I have a revelation of what I didn't have a revelation of before. And that's what God's word does to us. It gives us a revelation and we see things differently. So we respond differently. See, back then, somebody said, well, give me the pipe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> give me that all. No big deal. You turn it off. You know, you know, you know, we, we fight each other to get to it. But now, uh -huh. you know, I was a die of thirst. <laughs> what happens is, that's what, that, that's what the word of God does to us as we reveals it to us and we see sin in our lives. It, it becomes a, 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 a position where, you know, it bothers me, it disgusts me, it gets worse yeah. over, over time. Let's, 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 so the, the struggle, the struggle is real. Four, let me let me lay this with you. Romans chapter 7, verse 24. O wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Okay. The prayer is, Lord, number four, Lord, deliver me from me. Mm. <laughs> Lord, deliver me from me. You know, stop worrying about that. God doesn't mean from everybody else. Lord, deliver me from me. Because you know what? I found out to be true that Scott, the person that's messed up me more than anybody else, is me. It's not what you did to me. It's what I did to my... Yeah. Lord, I need you to deliver me from me. Yeah. And that, that's got to be part of my prayer. Look, listen, listen, when I begin to leave this house and, and, and I start thinking I'm, I'm smarter than anybody, Lord, deliver me from me. Deliver me from me. Deliver me from me. Deliver me from my thought process. Deliver me from, from thinking everybody's trying to hustle me when they ask me for help on the street. Yeah. Deliver me from me. Deliver me from my pride, my, my selfishness. Yeah, yeah. As you reveal me through your, through your word. Listen, I'm going to leave you with this and this. Thing. Because the reality of it is how 
do I win the battle of the struggle? Then Paul tells us, verse 25, I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then when my mind, in my mind, I myself serve the law of God, put the flesh to law of sin. The only way to win the struggle is through Jesus Christ. Now listen, listen, let me, let me share with you because, you know, uh, you know, that, you know, folk will tell you, you just need to pray and, and you just need some more Jesus. You know, but what does that mean and what does that look like? Let, 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 let me share with you. See, what Paul is, is telling us, he's teaching us a valuable lesson. And you got to get this one. This, this, this is it right here. This is it. Paul, Paul says, you know, whenever I look, look at the Word of God, I see the sin in my life and it's revealed to me. And then it seems like when I find out about that sin, I'm drawn to it. That's it. Yeah, got that. Yeah, also, yeah. And, and so, so, so when I'm drawn to it, those there are things I say I'm not going to do. I find myself doing. Yeah. Those places I say I work, I'm not going to go. I find myself going because I'm drawn to it. So, so, so the reality of it is, I must change my focus. All right. And start focusing on Him yeah. Yeah. and not the sin. Yeah. Now, let, 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 listen, I'm saying it's not to be played with, but I need you to get this, get this, get this, get this. See, see, when you focus, whatever you focus on, you will be drawn to. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. And the reality of it is, when I find thou, thou shall not, I'm drawn to thou shall not. Mm-hmm. But there are a lot of thou shalls. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when I focus, you know, it, it, it's kind of like, the thou shall not are real small. The thou shalls are real big. Yeah, yeah. So what you do is you start focusing on the thou shalt. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll find the thou shalt not seem to go away. Yeah. My, my. Let me share. So I think I'm about to tell you You know, every summer um, when we were kids um, back in San Antonio, we were originally from Mobile, Alabama. That's where my family's from. I was the youngest of four children. And, and every summer we would go back to Mobile, Alabama for the summer and we spent a week or two down there with our family and and and, and uh, we used to have a good time I mean but that was our vacation Bridget every summer <laughs> every summer we went to Mobile and we had some family in Pensacola Pensacola right. Florida which was about 45 minutes an hour away from Mobile so my dad's side of the family was on Pensacola my mom was in Mobile primarily so we go down there and, and before we would leave and before we would leave, um, they would always have a barbecue for us, a barbecue or a fish fry, something like that, you know. And you know, uh, you know, it's going to be in the backyard. Y'all know who I'm feeling. So, you know, it's going to be. We gonna have a name brand so us. It's going to be, you know, <laughs> Shasta. And, you know, and, 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 so what's that cold don't make like black cherry. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know that, that's kind of thing we did. That's kind of that's our way. So, so you know, so every time before we leave, we, we have. A, and I remember this one particular summer. It, it, it was um. I might have been maybe six or so, six or seven more, and my my brother, who's next to me, he, 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 he was he was eight or nine or so, right? And 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 so, you know, back then, you know, back then, you know, uh, we didn't waste food. Nope. Y'all know, today we waste food, man. But, but back then, I mean, you know, I mean, you gonna eat everything off your plate. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, if they put it on your plate, you gonna eat it off your plate. You know, listen, listen, and, eat, and when you finish eating off your plate, you don't throw that trash in. You scrape it in the dog's bowl. <laughs> he gonna fish whatever's on that bowl, but, you know. So, our bowl was for them good dogs. You know? <laughs> Chuck and all that stuff, I mean, whatever. <laughs> no, they give me so, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so, 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 so anyway, so here's the point. So every year we have this big, this, uh, this barbecue, and I remember this one particular year. I was about six or seven, and my brother was about nine or so. He's three years ahead of me, and 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 my mother uh, was on the grill passing out hamburgers, and so so she gave me a hamburger, she gave my brother a hamburger, and, and told us, you know, now go visit your mind. I mean, go visit him. And so, <laughs> 
so, 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 you know, so they're in that picnic table in the backyard, and, and Trina, so, 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 she gives her a hamburger, and she gives my brother his hamburger. My brother's walking, and he drops his hamburger. Oh my God. Now, now we'll be on the five second rule. It, 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 it was like in the backyard, and then the sand and dirt, and then it was cold where we were. And so my mom got mad. You know, and she went off on him. You know, because, you know, my mom made my brother get a bad rap. I'm going to tell you some good things about him once. It's plenty to know. But my mom gets mad, and she goes off my brother, and he said, and, and, you know, of course, you know, you know, you know, you like to see your brother get in trouble with your kids. I'm like, <laughs> you know, see you laughing, but you're like, <laughs> I'm not just so happy my brother in trouble. So, he, so she gets on and says, she, so, so she, he throws a hamburger, she throws a hamburger away and gives him another hamburger and says, now go over and sit down. And my brother walks over there and he drops it again. <laughs> Capital punishment, here we go, you know. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and so by this time, I'm in full. <laughs> and my brother just bawling, crying, and he got to toe up, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so so, so she, he picks it up, and she gives him another hamburger. And she says, go and sit your behind down. And so my brother gets his burger. He's walking, he's like, <laughs> I mean, he's shaking like dice in Vegas. <laughs> Parker shot him. Okay. So he, so he, and he, he makes it over to the table. He sits there. He's crying. Now listen, the reality of it is, my brother's about 10 years old. He can clearly walk to the table with a hammer. <laughs> but his focus had become on not dropping it. And because his focus was on not dropping it, he kept dropping it. So Clark, what happens is when we focus on sin so much, we're drawn to it and we'll fall to it. <laughs> And that struggle is real. Yeah. 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 But if you begin just to focus on the goodness of Jesus yeah. and all that he's done for you, yeah. right. you'll find that you know, you'll stop focusing. That stuff won't even draw your attention like it used to draw your attention. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because my focus has changed. Right. 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 And here, listen, listen. So the struggle I had with sin, you know, it's a struggle, but it's not the struggle it used to be. Right. Because it's not at the forefront of my mind all the time. Right. But let me tell you, the struggle is real. Yeah. Yeah. Every head is bowed in the eyes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.